Cohn, I've heard you've been for a lot. I thank you for coming to my office today. Doc! Doc! Contain yourself, Mr. Robert. What is the matter? No, no, I don't want like to be me! <laughs> I've heard a lot lately. I've heard your best friends have left you, and your lover, apparently. We need to discuss this thoroughly. Let me pull up a chair here. Now, let's start from the beginning. Now, Mr. Robert Cohn, I, I can see you are a Jewish writer, but I see you have a lot of personal childhood traumas that we clearly need to discuss. My parents were wealthy. I hardly ever saw my father. He was always away at work. My mother was beautiful. She was just so fancy. I see. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, tell me, um, you didn't have much time together as a family, I take. Very dreadful. No, not really. If I ever needed something, my mother always gave it to me without hesitation. Always. Interesting indeed. Um, now, in many cases, the school often holds many secrets and traumas in one's childhood. If we can perhaps examine that, maybe we can find some answers in your case. So tell me, in your schooling, I take it you used to be a boxer, as well as a military man, if you take my jest. Those damn kids. All of them. What was I mean? Then, in boxing, I, I hated boxing. It, it made me feel weak. I never used it when I needed to. I was always too weak to beat up the chap at the time who ever made fun of me. But wouldn't boxing make you feel more powerful or give you a sense of like, of like power in your weakened state? That's just it. I hate boxing. It always made me feel weak. I must ask you, Mr. Cohn, to calm yourself. I will call Big Buff James to come down and take you out. And I'm highly sure your boxing won't even compete with him. <coughs> now let's continue, shall we? <coughs> now, about your military schooling. I believe that the discipline would be very good for you indeed, seeing as you were like a rich young man at the time. Oh, oh, well, I was, I was never judged at least for being Jewish. I, I spent so many years after that being bullied for just that. Oh. Now, I've heard that you had a, you were divorced once by your first wife. Uh, could you tell me how you two got together? Because I think that clearly needs to be analyzed further. She only ever said two words to me before we got married. Those two words that were so enlightening. I, I knew she was the one, you know. Now, I think that's a problem there, Mr. Cohn. You see, apparently this woman gave you a little bit of interest and you took it all the way. That is very unwise for an adult, and if I might say, immature. <clears throat> you, Robert, are an adult now. What is it in life that you really want? Brent. 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 It's truly the finest young lady I've ever met. Ever, ever. She's... Oh. She means well, she's got an evil side, but who doesn't? I, I, I love this woman. She's, she's my brat, my Lady Ashley. That's enough said. She's not mine. But if I'm correct, Robert, I believe it was that same woman that caused the breakup of your friendship with Jake. Your best friend, if I'm correct. You bastard, you took one away from me! Go to hell, Robert. <laughs> Okay, Robert. Now go to hell. Robert, calm 
of yourself. I don't think I need to remind you, Robert. You need to grow up. You want to say because I'm Jewish. <laughs> now that is quite interesting because you claim that just because of your cultural heritage that you have no choice in the making influences how other people treat you and how you act. That is very immature and unwise. For instance, everyone has a choice whether they want to be immature or mature. They need to grow up. In your case, you've been babied by your mother for a long time, making you a sort of, shall we say, man-child. If you just learn to take responsibility, get a real job, and actually work for your own living, maybe people will like you better. I know I can see that for myself. You don't know anything about me! You're wrong, Robert. I'm not a psychologist, and I know everything about you. For I am... Ernest Hemingway! Uh, you! You! You made me unhappy! My own childhood was unhappy! I had to emphasize a character of my own unhappiness! And that was you! Oh, I feel free. I feel like I'm out of the hide. I feel so... I, I feel funny. Ooh.